You can accurately determine what they meant by leaping to incredibly large assumptions that come from your mind, not theirs. Then you can inform them what they meant by what they said. In this case, it could be, you just think the black community is so weak that they need your love. <laughs> and now we've just exposed their white fragility. Then probably a Okay, I'm ready for another Awaken We JP. Oh man, what do what what do we do with JP? I've come to really appreciate JP's content on YouTube. I'm glad for content creators such as JP's and many others who are expressing their views in various ways to address issues that are very pertinent to what is happening in the light of the culture a man like jp certainly has been one of the ones that i listen to to give me a perspective on things that are very different than that which the media portray so i'm ready for another one i hope you are make sure you like and subscribe and click the bell icon for more the one that i have for you today is JP how to be a woke white person. So I'm not sure how much qualification I have uh, when it comes to that one. I, I, I don't know if I'm woke. I don't think I am white, but I'm sure that I'm a person. So I think I can um, listen to this one and react to that. So how about we get into the heart of the message? Let's do it. <laughs> Are you a white person who wants a lot of credit for helping to create racial equality while you do nothing to help create racial equality? First of all, the fact he came out of a bathroom flushing and, and started asking these questions automatically made me feel some type of way. But the good thing is, I, I don't know, I, like I've said, I'm not qualified. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a black man, so maybe I can I can escape some of those questions and say, hey, I don't fit the description very well. So therefore, I'm just going to take a. I'm just going to have a viewer experience, right? I'm going to stay on the sideline and watch how this all played out. So can we back that up again? Out of credit for helping to create racial equality while you do nothing to help create racial equality. <laughs> if so, that means you want to be a woke white person. So listen up, because I'm going to give you your PhD in Wokeology. Wokeology. <laughs> there goes my thumbnail. Wokeology? <laughs> how, how to be a woke white person. Brought to you by bio op optimizers. So I'm um, okay. Okay, so let's get ready for a course in Wokeology here. Let's see what's going on. Let's go, JP. <laughs> as a woke white person, your mission is to attack as many other white people for being racist online as you possibly can. Oh, wow. But don't worry, them actually being racist isn't a prerequisite for you attacking them for being racist. Wow. Everyone knows that racism is hate. But as a woke white person, you know that the best way to heal the world from hate is to hate the people that are spreading the hate. Oh. Let's take a look at your woke white person black belt skills in action. The best way to heal the world of hate is to hate the people. You know that the best way to heal the world from hate is to hate the people that are spreading the hate. What an ideology. Doesn't work. Just to let you know, it doesn't work. Anyway. Let's take a look at your woke white person black belt skills in action. Black belt skills. Tomorrow we should cancel the term white belt. <laughs> white belt. Let's say you encounter another white person saying something as racially hateful as, I love black people. Mm. Now at first glance, that could seem supportive to the black community. But as a wokeologist, you know that people never say what they mean. They mean what you think they mean. <laughs> That's so true. I, I, I've been seeing some of this. Um, I've seen it not only with the as JWs, social justice warriors, and 
we did a video about how they truly are psychopath coming from a psychology psychology perspective but nevertheless not only that the body positive movement the way they like to reinterpret people's words to suit and to fight and to demote and they interpersonalize stuff that people say to to appease their own i guess mental derangement however it is lack of confidence <laughs> that was so on point jp is so on point just you know that people never say what they mean they mean what you think they mean they mean what you think they mean i can speak for myself but sometimes no matter what you say people say what they think you should be saying or they mean what you think they mean <laughs> You can accurately determine what they meant by leaping to incredibly large assumptions that come from your mind, not theirs. What? Then you can inform them what they meant by what they said. In uh... this case, it could be, you just think the black community is so weak that they need your love. Mm. <laughs> and now we've just exposed their white fragility. <laughs> <laughs> then probably ignore the fact that you're acting from the presupposition that the black community is so weak that they need you to protect them. Mm -hmm. Next, call on the hyenas to come attack your prey in the comments section. <laughs> the hyenas in the comments section. I I know about these 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 groups. I I I confront them uh, every single day. I, when I open this thing up and I read some of my comments and I'm like, okay, what's going on on YouTube? And I go to my YouTube studio and I'm looking at some of these comments and I'm like, hmm. Ah, oh, the hyenas. They exist. I did a whole video explaining matters carefully. Speak slow. I give my Bible verse. I try to examine the thing in the best way that I know how. And they jump in the comments saying the exact opposite of my intent. Obliterate an attack, call me nasty names. I said, y'all got issues and I'm praying for you. And finally, be sure to take a screenshot of their post. That way after they delete it from being emotionally abused by you, you can repost it to make sure they keep getting what you think they deserve. See, that's an overkill. It's an overkill. That's just crazy, but that's exactly what they're doing. That's horrible. And so their thought that you don't like will continue to live on. You get the sensation that you've helped because of the highly emotionally charged feeling that developed inside of you while you weren't helping. This highly help emotionally charged feeling that develops inside of you while you weren't helping. A lot of people, uh, especially uh, Caucasian people who are part of supposedly eradicate racism, are actually the ones that are perpetuating racism. Not all of them, of course, but many of them who are saying, you know, you gotta think this way, you gotta help, you can't say this. And they beat on other white people whose view differs from theirs. They go as far as canceling black people, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy, like a white person who is standing for racism goes after black people to fight racism against black people. Yeah, make that make sense. I saw this lady, I did a video on her. She, She's a black lady who spoke about, you know, Black Panther and so on, and TikTok went after her. Well, it's a Chinese run app. So anything to demoralize Americans is good <laughs> for these people. If you dare to say something about them, they will go after you. But nevertheless, it's just to me, I see what JP is doing here, very well thought of very true and it's very hard to argue against what he's doing here powerful make your efforts all about you mm -hmm. not about racially oppressed people no nope. because it's your job to find racism in what white people are doing and saying online whether it's it's your job to find it <laughs> and it's true racism is 
on life support, as louder we cry, that will put it right. It would put it. There are some systems that cannot exist without racism being perpetuated in some way or form. So they have to find it or create it or revive it by any means necessary for them to have a platform. And I don't want to start calling names, but there are some people they feed on whatever pain or vulnerability or issues, trauma of the black community. And when this is carried out among us, black on black crimes, we like, yeah, it is what it is. When it is done by the hand of a white man or a policeman, and if he happens to be black, if he happens to be white, oh, <laughs> whoo, we tearing down the communities. No, 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 that's real racist. That's just crazy to me. Or not, here's some woke principles that'll help you find racism in anything. Mm. Assume that all white people that aren't you are racist. Mm. Take what they say out of context. For example, if they said... Assume all white people that aren't you are racist. That's actually not true. And that's something that we really need to take a look at and readdress. And I think it's not fair to a lot of Caucasian folks to be style racist just because they're white. And I've heard videos and I've spoken about this in my channel and I'm like, it's not okay, man. I have a son who is half white. <laughs> we can't do that. Uh, I have a really great relationship with white people. Um, as my relationship with all people, I don't want to start pe putting color on people because this colorism language, I don't even like it. Uh, people are just people. Jesus created us. We are the human family, but I have a relationship with all people. I work with them, live with them, black, white, Spanish, Chinese people. To me, it doesn't matter. Characters is what matters to me, but for some others, blaming white people for being racist just because they are white. It's actually really stupid. Can I use that word? Is that okay? Is that a bad word? It's not, right? It's stupid. Anyway. Are racist. Take what they say out of context. For example, if they said, I didn't enjoy watching that game, you could say, that's because a lot of the players are black. You see? You see? <laughs> uh, boy, I'm telling you, that is true. I read some of my comments, you know, I read my Bible and I, and I say with the word of God, quoting the words of Jesus. And not only do blacks or those white woke person do this, but even the, the alphabet community, they like to appeal to this mental victim woe is me crucifying me mentality i quote the scripture that marriage is between a man and a woman ordained by god is an institution that god himself created and the comment says you hate homosexuals i'm like oh gosh you need help in that game you could say that's because a lot of the players are black Accuse them of racism for what they're not saying. For example, if they post a picture of their dinner, accuse them of racism because there's no black people in their food. Accuse <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Lord, have mercy on us. Don't... Oh, we need help. We need serious mental help. You know, our psyche is completely messed up if that's how we think, right? That is crazy. I saw a video on Dr. Phil. I plan on reacting to it. It was this body positivity movement that are calling for, uh, you know, they're promoting this morbidly obese lifestyle as an example of woman power. And, and they called uh, to go against um, any change for your body regardless of your health condition is considered fat phobic i'm like where are these words coming from 
So I, I saw some of them getting upset at a person who said, I, I, I lost 40 something pounds and the person is documenting their their success online and i was really happy to see that and they were talking about their health condition has improved which is really amazing to hear but the the response of these people w was that you are fat phobic for talking about losing weight you making fat people feel bad i'm like uh that's not what they were saying uh you taking matters out of context and you're jumping into conclusion here you have an issue that you need to take a look at personally and stop reaching into somebody else's personal experience and redefine them to protect your own lack of self-worth there's there's an issue with that and it seems like the issue is in you not in what they're sharing but anyway i'll stay quiet them of being a racist and if they deny it inform them that denying being a racist is the first thing a racist racist person would do that is so interesting did you see my video deconstructing karen's i'll put a link to that uh right now the thing is that's exactly what i was talking about in that video where these women were just pounding pounding on white women okay some black some were indian some were spanish but they were pounding on these white women it's called Deconstructing Karens. And the idea is to help these white women to realize how racist they are, no matter how much they try to deny it. And these women were like, we're not racist. We love black people. I'm married to a Spanish. I've had relationship with this. And I got, like, we, it doesn't matter. You are racist. Here are the reasons for that. And you had to see how it all ended. It was like these women at the end, they just realized that they can't overcome. They just said, we are racist. They give up and I'll say that I'll give up too. So I can leave the conversation <laughs> because it's just, you're not going to win with these people, man. Inform them that denying being a racist is the first thing a racist person would do. Mm -hmm. If you see someone actively supporting racial equality, let them know that they're only doing it as a virtue signal. Mm. And therefore they're bolstering their image at the expense of black people. Mm -mm. And just know your virtue signaling of pointing out their virtue signaling is completely different from what they're doing. No, that's hypocrisy. <laughs> that's hypocrisy. Uh, this virtue signaling business is they act as if they care when really they don't really care. They're using it for political props or just for recognition, you know, social recognition bonus points but it's not so much that we care about the pain of black folks we're doing this because there's something to gain out of that yeah it's getting old don't you think occasionally you might run into actual racism in your feed but probably not because scumbags usually aren't that honest <laughs> but even if you do run into it you won't know what to do with it because all you've got is weaponized anger criticism and mm -hmm. hate Mm. Compassion, connection, and education aren't concepts bleached into your DNA. Mm -mm. Now, let me help you understand the dynamics of how you as a woke white person are making a real difference in racial equality. Huh. When you put all your time and energy into finding faults with other white people and attacking them, mm -hmm. it means you are not putting your time and energy into helping and supporting <laughs> racially oppressed people. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> if the people who are complaining about racism so much will just be quiet and actually go to these communities, these cities where pain and suffering, people are without jobs and young people or killing themselves. The black on black violence is so bad in these cities. If you will go there and uh, address the pain of these individuals, you will do much better for black people than all the shouting and yelling and calling racism things in places that don't exist. It's like, we don't need to know how much more racism there is in the world. Honestly, what we need is the solution. Is this, are you going to focus on the problem and magnify the problem? Would you like to lay out a solution that people could work with? And I think if more energy was spent in, helping fixing real issues that are happening among blacks or wherever racism is in any culture and i think for black people is like the family's broken 
drug infested certain areas. Children are born out of the wedlock. So we have a moral issue, really. That's really what it is. It's a godless society that is killing the black race. While music promote all type of violence. So we have these issues. They are left untouched, unaddressed. And the whole idea is, oh, they oppress. Oh, they're going through this. Oh, they're being racist against them. I'm like, but that's not the help the people need, though. It's crazy to me. And JP is on point again. Does that make sense how you're not helping the people that you think you are? And it's great because you know that instead of putting your energy into being for something, it's way more constructive to put your energy into being against something. <laughs> but that doesn't matter because <laughs> you get woke warrior social justice points for woke warrior social justice points. Doesn't matter how unsuccessful you are in fixing the problem. You get some points, some bonus points. Are you happy now? <laughs> <laughs> criticizing and hopefully even canceling other white people but you don't get nearly as many points for helping the racially oppressed because people don't notice you doing it people don't notice you doing that of course we do we we are nice enough not to expose everyone but we know exactly who are actually helping and who are hurting believe me we, we do yeah a general rule of thumb is if it doesn't give you a dopamine hit from social media acknowledgement, it doesn't help create change with racial equality. A dopamine it hate. What? A general rule of thumb is if it doesn't give you a dopamine hit from social media acknowledgement, it doesn't help create change with racial equality. Mm. Congratulations. You now have your doctorate in wokeology. <laughs> Being the woke white person that you are, thank you for crusading with your sword of hate to help heal the world of hate. We cannot overcome evil with evil. Cannot fight fire with fire. But the world just don't get it. When are we going to listen to the words of Jesus? Boy, when are we going to listen to his word? Only if we will listen to what Jesus says. Oh, humanity. We need help. Thank you for crusading with your sword of hate to help heal the world of hate. You're doing God's work. <laughs> no, no, no. JP, you, no, 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 no. You can't do that. <laughs> He said, I'm sorry. he said you're doing god's work no no that's the exact opposite listen to hate to help heal the world of hate you're doing god's work no you're not you're not doing god's work that's exactly the problem is people who think they are helping or really hurting things who they think they are building but re they're really tearing down they think they are healing, but they are really uh, killing. And unfortunately, we live in a society today that is very hard for them to, for you to convince them otherwise. Look at the issues and address the problems. We don't need to be, we don't need to know how many more racist stuff is happening in the world. Although I do believe it does exist, not to the degree of which they magnify it. Uh, but there are things that could be done. You know, those woke white person, if you really want to help black people, go to the black community and look what's happening there and minister to their needs. And I know some are doing it, putting businesses there. It's still a scary business because some of these businesses are being robbed and so on. And I think if you were to look at the what is really causing these issues in black community and looking to strengthen the family circle and meeting them where they are i think we'll go much farther than that but uh but the idea of fighting racism with racism with hate jp is so on point with that one and it is ridiculous in the bible we are told very simple 12 21 i love this 12 1 2 2 1 you can't forget that verse, right? It says, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Can I read it again? Be not overcome of evil, but overcome 
evil we're good that's the solution woke white person <laughs> that cost the solution that's it can we apply that can we pray and put this to use your mean tweets don't help anybody your comments your holding flags holding signs on the side of the street is not helping anyone let's talk about this what good could you do to confront the evil in the world of those who are suffering let's put that to use that's christ's method for you much more could be said but i think this is enough okay thank you so very much for listening friends like and subscribe to the page i enjoyed the jp reaction videos did you enjoy that? That was powerful. Don't mean to make this any longer than it needs to be. But JP always gets me going. Until next time, and as always, friends, remember to look at the Jesus to live by faith. Comment below. Share your thought and perspective with me. You matter. <laughs> I think he said that in another video as well. I'm becoming a JP expert. I think, um, yeah, I need to get... I don't know. I cannot graduate from white woke wokeology. Is that what it is? But anyway, I have a long way to go. Anyway, until next time, and as always, remember to look unto Jesus to live by faith. Have a good one.